very serious and it is very important that you listen and act. This is not an attack against any tribe, but it is important that we take cognizance of this and act accordingly. Not violently, but we have to act with all caution. Ohanese fumes over the exportation of Amajiris to the Southeast, and they have issued the not 14 days ultimatum. Ohanese Indigo Youth Council worldwide, as they are called, they describe the interception of Kanu State, Northern Amajiris, were intercepted by Enugu State COVID-19 task force. They said this is a nefarious activity of notorious Islamic extremists and Northern elders to export coronavirus Amajiri index cases to the Southeast with evil intent to infect Biafrans, to infect Igos with coronavirus and increase the death tolls of COVID-19 cases in the southeast of Nigeria as witnessed in Kano State recently. OIC, in a statement signed by its President General, Mazi Okechuku Isiguzoro, noted that the recent ban on Amajuris by Northern governors and forceful evictions of Amajuris from urban areas to rural region of the north or their states of origin is a deceptive ploy and rogue assignment hatched by northern elders and governors but executed by northern musketeers to secretly export millions of amajuris covid-19 carriers under the guise of cattle conveyance from north to the southeast to the south of nigeria and this is done especially using the cover of darkness at night to wreak havoc and destruction subsequently to reduce the Biafran population to attack the Igbos in the Southeast. The statement, however, said OIC appealed to the Southeast governors to review the circumstances surrounding the decisions of Northern governors on the ban of Amajiris from anywhere they are found back to their states of origin. OIC also wants the Southeast governors to take decision to ensure that all Amajiris begging on the streets of Southeast are sent back in line with established decisions of their own Northern governors. According to OIC, this patriotic gesture will afford Southeast governors the opportunities to help their Northern counterparts to receive their words and empower them as there is no better time for it than now. In the ultimatum, OIC said it will not tolerate any kind of imaginary system in the Southeast. This obnoxious policy seen in some Hausa quarters in Igbo land will no longer be entertained. We will accommodate any Nigerian from the North and West doing genuine businesses in the Southeast. But alternatively, we are giving the Amajuris an ultimatum and grace of 14 days to evacuate from Igbo land or face the hostilities that will follow suit. Igbo youth will deal decisively with any street beggar anywhere in Igbo land after 14 days. From today, um, they marked it 5th day of May 2020. Now, you see, I do not tolerate politics when it comes to serious issues like this. We are not talking about, oh, just the Amajuris came in and they are begging, we don't want beggars, and the governor comes up with some laws and here and there. No, 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 no. We are talking of a very dangerous disease, a dangerous virus. This is not an epidemic. It's a pandemic. We are talking of a virus that has no cure. And you are talking this way, you are giving 14 days ultimatum, the same number of days that the virus begins to show symptoms and they begin to infect people. How come? How come? Oh, I see. How come a lot of groups People that should be the bounties, people that should stand firm and call it spirit spirit. How come they become weakly? Who bribed you? Or what is happening here? Someone said, instead of you people to send them back to their home state with your own hands, like northern governors are doing, you are there issuing 14 days ultimatum to beggars. You know quite well cannot afford to transport themselves back home. What a wasted warning. Beggars don't bother about warnings. 
repatriate them back to ABJ, Abuja, or to the north. Send them back to where they are from. Send them away. They have no reason to stay in any southeast or southern state. Nobody wants the Amajiri. Amajiri is not from the south. It's a system that they created in the north. It should be the problem of the north because they created it and they want it. It should stay in the north. The north needs to take care of their problems. You know, it's so sad that they decide to make their problems now a national problem. Cattle herding, national problem. That's a private business. Since they don't want to have ranches, they prefer taking cows from one point to the other. Now, coronavirus is there. They've decided again to ship Amajuris from the north. This should not be tolerated. That's just it. If the task force on COVID-19 will not package them, rather than making 14 days ultimatum and all the noise, I don't think um, it will make sense. They say, an Igbo adage says, when the bird learns to fly without perching, the hunter will equally learn to shoot without targeting. If the emergeries come in as cow sellers, this is not the time to sell cows. Nobody wants to eat cow now. Let them move the cow down to the north and keep it there. But what is really happening here? In fact, it is not even acceptable that the Amajuis or the Aousa Polanis or Katowicz may be moving in droves as they do any longer. If we are talking of a law that should be put on ground in these states, what is really happening to these governors? If Amajuis, according to the original definition of what they are, are supposed to be Islamic scholars, Muslims, ending up to be Malams, are they coming to the southeast to teach them Arabic or teach them the Quran? Or is this just another ploy to create another problem? So the question we should ask Easterners is this. Do you want to learn Quran or you want to learn Arabic language? Because Amajiri are supposed to be scholars. They are supposed to be children that are taught the Quran. Do you want to learn it? What is going on with you? What is the 14 days ultimatum for? Did you ask for free Islamic scholars? Anyway, We've come to realize that Amajuris presently are not Islamic scholars anymore. They are simply children that are born on the street, uncatered for, unlearned, drug users, neglected, disenfranchised. These are the minds that Boko Haram and terrorists are versed to cause mayhem. But what do you think? Where do you think Boko Haram gets minds to brainwash? They get it from these children and train them to become what they are. So it's time for you, Southeast, rise up, reject all of this, demand more from your politicians because it seems they've sold you and some other criminals there. Why should you accept this at this time? Coronavirus does not care about your race, your religious views your political affiliation, and any of this, once you open up your door, it will infect you. So rather than being noisemakers or waiting for them to give you money, cash, because I don't know what it is, probably they are waiting for money. They only make a little noise, then they give them money, they keep quiet again. This is not a joke. Even the ONA is Indigo, you can't sue worldwide when members of whatever association is there. If you're not careful, the coronavirus will infect you and you will die. So rise up now. There is no hiding place. I don't know if most of them are tweeting or calling from somewhere. Probably they are abroad. And that's where they are writing all of these things. OIC say this. And this ego group say this. This person says this and that. And they are not on ground. Or they are eating in their compound somewhere. And they know, okay, I'm not going to come in contact. Who knows? Anything can happen. You might meet with your friend. And you get infected. It's time for you to rise up and act.